Okay, here's something a little bit different. Uh, this is a, a video about one of my uh, favourite tools. Uh, I've got lots of favourite tools because I've got lots of tools. Um, this one's a bit unusual for a couple of reasons. But um, first of all, this is a, let's say what it is. This is a uh, Miller's Falls Alford hand vise. Now, the M Miller's Falls Company are, an, um, I, I don't think, I don't know if they still exist, but they were an American tool making company. Um, and uh, it's difficult to age this because, um, it, it, <laughs> well, I'll, I'll put the, I've, got, I've managed to find the pattern, which I will put up on the uh, screen uh, shortly. But uh, the pattern was dated for this tool, uh, September 28th, 1869. So, <laughs> Um, and I found uh, an old uh, Miller's Falls tool catalogue, which has a, a picture and a description of this uh, this hand hand vice um, in it, which I will also show you. Now I've modified it slightly in the fact that it did not come with this handle. It came. It comes with this rosewood handle which you can unscrew and there's a separate tang which can be screwed into either side either this side or the side that that, that one is screwed in and then you can move this handle onto the side should you wish but i like both ha to have both handles so basically what i've done is i've made up I took take took a lump of wood and turned it down on the lathe to give me a handle so that I can hold it like you would say a power drill with uh, one hand on here and one hand on here and I'll show you why I've done that uh, shortly but yeah I mean this is an unusual tool for um, uh, a couple of reasons um, first and foremost uh, I can't seem to find any modern version or equivalent of this at all and I don't know why because it's it's absolutely it's an absolutely brilliant tool I mean, it re it's really, really useful. Um, but the other reason <laughs> it's unusual is, and I'll, sh I'll, I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> it is in fact a multi-tool. Yes, what you can do is the, hand the cap on the handle uh, unscrews. And inside it, are several tools which can be clamped in the vise and used to do various different uh, operations. Let's turn that around there like that so you can see it. And I'll zoom in on those for you. There you go. <clears throat> now, according to the um, catalog page, it should contain the, the the end cap once unscrewed the end of the tool should contain um, a chisel a screwdriver a countersink a square reamer bradle scratch all and washer cutter so that is four five six seven items in total and mine has got five items and this is the washer cutter but it's missing a bit out of the center there so it's it hasn't it's not complete by by any means but then it uh, i'm not really interested in in those items that part of it but it, i do find it fascinating that you know back in in those days all that time ago that um someone had the idea to make a multi-tool um which is uh well i think quite interesting so that's that's what's inside it now we'll uh, have a look at the ha it in operation as I said, the, the handle itself uh, unscrews. Like so. And uh, can also be screwed into this side or the side where I've got this other handle. Um, so it was a truly versatile uh, bit of kit for its time. As I said, I've, I've added the extra handle to it. Um, purely because I like to be able to hold it like this. Um, and I, I'll give you an explanation of what I use this tool for, uh, mainly, uh, in a minute. Now, if you watch any of my other videos, or um, yeah, uh, you subscribe to my channel, then you'll know that um, 
the vast majority of what I spend my time doing is restoring, uh, making, uh, repairing uh, model steam engines. Now, one of the things that you nearly always have to do if you're restoring one is um, clean up the nuts, bolts and washers and screws and things that hold the thing together. And they're, norm and they're quite often extremely small, like those two we have there that are down there next to the next to the, the hand vise. Now they're 6BA in size, um, and um, the best way of cleaning those up is a wire wheel. But the problem is, how the hell do you hold something that tiny and, cl and to clean the head up? And this is where this um, Miller's Falls hand vise comes into its own. It is truly, absolutely, almost perfectly designed for doing that. And I'll show you how. <laughs> we do that i mean ba basically uh, it, it operates just like a normal vice obviously you, know, you want you the screw opens the jaws up and then closes but interesting enough as well it's been very well thought of it has uh, slots running longitudinally and horizontally for for holding round stock which is ideal um so basically you just <laughs> it's fairly straightforward obviously yeah. you just take your bolt Take the screw, stick it in there, very lightly clamp it. You know, you obviously don't, the, the, screws, the screws are normally brass, um, so you don't want to tighten it up too tight, but just, just enough to hold it. And then we'll go over to the wire wheel and you can see it in action. Right, so here's my uh, trusty Hilker six inch bench grinder. Um, another, another tool which I'm very fond of. I used to have a much more modern Clark combined uh, grinder sander, but um, it was only 240 watts, and um, it uh, it was very easy to stall out the the wire wheel. This this one is uh, 370 watts, which I think is about half horse, and um, it this is just absolutely brilliant. I love this this thing; it's it's just superb. And you really do need a decent wire wheel if you're doing any kind of restoration work in a workshop. Right, so let's get this going. And there's our nice shiny screw head. And you don't get your you get your fingers or your hands anywhere near the wire wheel, which is, in my book, superb. So, uh, as you can see, a very, very useful tool. And, of course, you could use it for all sorts of other things. If you had a polishing machine, it would also be useful for that, holding stuff and that. Um, in theory, you can take the handle off um, and, and put it in a chuck and, and use it as a drill vise. That's one of the things that they describe in the, uh, uh, in the catalogue. Uh, description but um no it's just it's just it's just a really really useful really 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 useful tool um and uh, i wouldn't i say so i've had it for about a year now um and i bought it with the 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 job that we've that i've just sh shown you in mind and it's and it's just proved fantastic for that so um right i'll put the uh patent and the uh page out of the catalog up on the screen briefly for you well, I don't know how well you can see that, but um, this is the pattern for it, um, dated uh, September 28th, 1869, by, uh, and it was applied for by a gentleman by the name of W.X. Stevens. Pattern number is 95392. So, um, surprisingly easy to find, I was, I, I was thought that would be difficult to... Um, to actually find this but no it turned out fairly easy so that's the patent now i'll stick the page uh, from the catalog up for you and here's the page from the catalog <coughs> which uh, quite a nice uh, illustration and there's a description down the bottom which tells you that the um uh coco bolo, coco bolo handle jaws of forged and tempered steel screw of steel exposed metal surfaces polished and nickeled detachable hollow handle and that then it goes on to say about the screw cap containing chisel screwdriver countersink square reamer bradle scratchel and 
washer cutter. Handle may be screwed into the vice at right angles. So yeah, it's um it's quite it's quite let me zoom in on that a bit so you can have a closer look. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, I couldn't find a date on the catalog unfortunately, so I don't I don't know when it was. Down the bottom in the description it says price per dozen $27.50. Uh so divide that by 12 and that will give you the cost of the uh, of, of the individual vice. So I would assume it would have been a long time ago for it to be as cheap as that. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. That's the Miller's Falls Orford hand vice. And a lovely, lovely tool it is too. Um, and as I said, quite interesting from the point of view that it was probably a one of the very few first early multi-tools, which is uh, interesting in its own right. But also the fact that, like I said, I can't seem to find anything that's like a modern equivalent to this at all. I mean, if anyone out there knows of something, then please let me know. But I, I haven't been able to find anything. Um, and um, now, if, you, if you're into... Um, uh, handling or cleaning small parts screws whatever this thing is absolutely brilliant for that purpose so uh, there you go anyway hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching cheers